Welcome back to Infigyan friends. In this video, we are going to take up one very interesting and challenging radical equation problem. It is cube root of 243x plus 270 over x cube minus 10 equal to 1 over 3. We have to find out real solutions. So let us begin with domain of the equation first. Denominator cannot be 0. So I will write x cube cannot be equal to 10. So x cannot be equal to cube root of 10. Now I will cross multiply the written numerator denominator. So once I will consider then I will be writing x cube minus 10 equal to 3 times cube root of 243x plus 270. Now I can see 27 is the common factor inside this cube root. So let me write here in this manner 27 if I will take common inside then it is 9x 27 times 9 is 243 plus 10. Now I will use the property cube root A times cube root B is equal to cube root of AB. So I can split like this cube root of 27 times cube root of 9x plus 10. Now cube root of 27 we know it is 3. So it is 3 times 3 times cube root of 9x plus 10. Now we can write it is 9 times cube root of 9x plus 10. And left hand side is x cube minus 10. Now I will use substitution. Let us write this equation once. x cube minus 10 equal to 9 times cube root of 9x plus 10. Let me write here. x cube minus 10 equal to 9 times cube root of 9x plus 10. Now I will use substitution. It is cube root. The radicand term. This term I will consider y cube. So let me write here what I have presumed y cube is equal to 9x plus 10. This is we have considered presumed. Now I will write our equation x cube minus 10 equal to 9 times cube root of y cube. So I will write y and if I will write this equation y cube minus 10 then I will be writing 9x or y cube minus 9x equal to 10. Better is to write like this and this equation I will write x cube minus 9y equal to 10. So now I will use both the equations. Let me write once more x cube minus 9y equal to 10, y cube minus 9x equal to 10. I will take away second equation from first. So change of sign, I will write x cube minus y cube, then 9 I will take common in bracket x minus y equal to 0. Okay, now let us apply the algebraic identity a cube minus b cube. I will write x minus y, second bracket x square plus y square plus xy and here I will be writing plus 9 times x minus y equal to 0. Now x minus y is common. I will take completely outside x minus y. So it will give us x minus y times x square plus y square plus xy plus 9 equal to 0. Now we have got two equations f dot g equal to 0. That means either f equal to 0 or g equal to 0. So g is x square plus y square plus xy plus 9 equal to 0. So we will solve equations one by one. Let me consider the very first equation first. So our original equation was x cube minus 10 equal to 9y. So let me write from the first equation x is equal to y. 
let us put this x is equal to y here in the original equation. So I will be writing x cube minus 9y equal to 10. Now I will apply y equal to x. So x cube minus 9x equal to 10 or x cube minus 9x minus 10 equal to 0. Now we have to find out solution. If base solution is possible using rational root theorem. So we can find the eligible factors plus minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus 5 plus minus 10. If I will put x is equal to minus 2 in this, I will be writing minus 8, minus 2 times minus 9 plus 18, minus 10. So yes, it is true. That means x is equal to minus 2 is base solution for us. Now I will write all the coefficients of cubic equation to apply synthetic division method. Coefficient of x cube 1, coefficient of x square 0, coefficient of x minus 9, constant coefficient minus 10. Let us put one line over there, leading coefficient 1 as it is. Now multiply minus 2 times 1, minus 2, minus 2, minus 2 times minus 2, 4, minus 5, minus 2 times minus 5, 10, 0. So from here we are having the coefficient for quadratic equation. Let me write here x square minus 2x minus 5 equal to 0. Let us apply Sridharachar formula to find out remaining two solutions minus b. So 2 plus minus under the root b square is minus 2 square. So 4 I will be writing minus 4ac. So I will write plus 20 divided by 2a. So from here. 2 plus minus square root 24 it is. So I will write 4, 24. So 6 times 4. So 2 root 6 divided by 2. And this is in numerator. So I will be having 1 plus minus root 6. This is our x value. And it is not from the exempted list. Cube root of 10. So we have calculated 3 solutions. x is equal to minus 2 and x is equal to 1 plus minus root 6. Now I will find out solution from this second equation. I will write x square plus y square plus xy plus 9 equal to 0. Take 9 to the right hand side x square plus y square plus xy equal to minus 9. Multiply this equation with 4. 4x square and write in this manner plus 4xy plus y square plus 3y square and right hand side is 4 times minus 9 minus 36. So from first three term it is 2x plus y whole square and you can see it is 3y square and right hand side is minus 36. Now I can conclude one statement, this is always positive, this cannot be negative means it is always positive. So how we can get the summation of two positive numbers negative? So it is only possible when solutions are complex value or complex solution. So no real solutions or you can write complex solutions would be there. So we will reject this. What is conclusion so far? We have calculated three solutions. One is minus two and the two rational solutions were it was one plus minus root six. I hope this video will be meaningful to you. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself.